Hi, Salam Sejahtera, this is Kids Bricks, Mind Over Bricks and Driving the Bricks. Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going for a double review. We'll be looking at LEGO Speed Champion set 75899 and 75909 La Ferrari and McLaren P1. Both these sets retail at 75 ringgits each. The La Ferrari set comes with 164 pieces, whereas the McLaren P1 set comes with 168 pieces. I reckon the price points are still expensive. However, about a week ago, I went to M Corp Mall in PJ and managed to get these at 64 bucks each. It should be at 50, but 64 bucks is reasonable enough. What you're seeing right now is a comparison of the two cars. Obviously enough, the McLaren P1 is the orangish yellow and the Ferrari is the Scuderia red. Apart from the obvious colors, the design language from both camps are being brought into LEGO quite nicely. You might have noticed that stickers are a prominent thing. Well yes, they're pretty much everywhere and around the car. Even the instrument panels are stickerized. I'm not sure if that's a word. Truly and surely, stickers aren't really a bad thing. It gives life to the car, and it gives more emphasis on the shapes and contours. I mean, have you tried looking at these set without the stickers? They're pretty ugly, actually. Now, on to the size comparison. Both cars are about the same length, although I reckon the McLaren P1 edges out by a plate's length. It's pretty much the same thing with the height. The wheelbase is shorter compared to the LaFerrari and this makes the front overhang a bit exaggerated. As a result, I find that the P1 is bulkier and stubbier compared to the Ferrari. Hence, I like the Ferrari more. Come on in and let's go take a closer look. From the front, I really like the look of the hourglass. The width of the car thins out at about the cockpit area and then thickens again at the front before converging at the end. The front nose though is a bit blocky to my liking and personally I would have come up with a slightly different solution. You can find my solution in the insert top left. Cockpit design is duller compared to the 918 Spider set. Adding a headdress detail for texture would have sufficed. From the side, I reckon the resemblance is pretty close. Though the side mirrors are missing, the side parts, the curves, the details are very well depicted. The back end is probably the most simplest of all construction. However, the design language is very well captured. All the gaps, all nooks and crannies are very well covered. In short, I'd like to say kudos to the designers. Minus my rants, this is probably the best translation they've done so far. Should there be a second iteration of this set, then I suggest that LEGO would consider my solution. With those closing thoughts for the La Ferrari, let's move on to McLaren P1. From the front, I really like how things are smoothened up. It really helps a lot with the use of curved plates and pieces. In this instance, it's pretty close to the real deal. The black bar with the front intake is nicely done. However, the sloping side details is really hard to emulate. If I had the parts and pieces, I would have brought the whole nose section in one plate lower. In doing so, the bulk is reduced. The cockpit detail is much worse compared to the La Ferrari. Apart from the steering wheel and the instrument cluster, there's pretty much nothing else. I reckon the wheel arches are too high and these add to the bulk. The sloping pieces covers up the very nice side pod details which is very unfortunate. The rear wing is hideous and the diffuser detail makes it look like it's not finished. There are big holes to the sides and should have been covered up. Based on my modifications, the back end looks much better without the wings. And look at that gaping hole. Atrocious. I'm quite disappointed with this build, but I kind of understand why it's being done like that. I just couldn't accept why they left the side details opened up. Despite all that, it does look like a McLaren P1. And for the parts, it's worth getting. That's it for the cars, let's move on to the minifigures. Of course, you get one each, one for the McLaren P1 and the other for the La Ferrari. The helmets are plain, but I really do like the McLaren P1 driver's helmet. It's kinda sparkly, gunmetal greyish color. On to the torso. You do get a race driver suit with gloves. Apart from that, the design is pretty much minimal front and back. You do get a McLaren and Ferrari logo on the front, but only the McLaren driver has the logo on the back. To be honest, there's nothing special with the minifigures, but they are however, collectible. And finally, the extras. You get three traffic cones, 
a curb and a traffic light with a curb and that's pretty much it nothing special overall get the LaFerrari and get the McLaren P1 for the parts relatively speaking I'm sure that the Lego designers have done tons and tons and tons of prototypes to make the build strong and sturdy these were the best solutions unfortunately though certain features need to be sacrificed you win some and you lose some so guys what do you think of my opinions in this video please share your suggestions and feedbacks in the comment section we'd be happy to improve ourselves and keep you guys the viewers entertained if you have any queries about us this set other toys or you have a different suggestion not related to this video hit us up on kidsbreaks at gmail.com or you can visit our facebook page to see our progress you can find the link below if you like this video and you like what we're doing hit the like and subscribe button until then i'll see you soon